Hey friends, it's Travplate, here to help you on your journey to Elite Smash. And today I'm going to show you how to beat the newest DLC character, Byleth. Like always, I'll show you what moves to respect and what weaknesses to exploit. Let's get right into it. Let the lesson begin. The first thing you gotta respect is Byleth's reach. His forward smash, side B, forward air, and back air are all moves with exceptionally long reach. You can't be too casual in your approach, or you'll get pummeled like the Italian Stallion in Rocky V. Due to Byleth's slow mobility and long reach, he plays with a very defensive playstyle. He tries to bait you in closer, and then strikes. You need to familiar yourself with Byleth's reach with each of his moves. Then you'll know how close you can get while staying safe. While it's occasionally important to keep your distance from Byleth, your main goal is to get past his reach and get close. At that range, Byleth's moves do a lot less damage and knockback. So this is where you can gain the most advantage. Now that you've successfully passed Byleth's reach and got close to him, you'll need to respect a few of his short range moves. Namely, his up tilt, neutral air, and down smash. His neutral air or nair is very similar to Palatina's nair. I'm surprised by how many moves it wins against. Your best option is to shield it, but make sure you hold your shield all the way to the last hit of this move. Too many people don't expect it to last as long as it does. His down smash is slow and easy to dodge as long as you roll away and not behind, but the main thing you need to respect about this move is how much shield damage it deals. I mean, just look at that. Put that just on. look at that. So don't risk getting close unless your shield is at full health. His up tilt has good reach and leads into combos, so make sure to watch out for that. My biggest surprise was how good Byleth is at juggling. His up air has a long reach and lasts for a long time and can kill pretty early. Don't try to attack this move from above, his will usually win. Try to go far around him as you fall or do a neutral air dodge through his attacks and get back to the stage as fast as possible. He can also use his up B, the sword of the creator, when you're up high. Do your best to avoid it, but if it hits you, try to dodge away from a follow up attack. Byleth has a vicious edgeguarding game, and to top it off, he can recover from very low, so he's totally fine going deep to dunk you. His down air can meter smash you. His forward air and back air can send you off the screen early if sweet spotted. His neutral air is great at gimping. And his up B can dunk you if you try to cover up high. His moves are most effective below or high above the stage. You may have the best chance recovering near the same height as the stage, but don't do that every time or he'll catch on. Mix up your recovery often to avoid his savage edge guarding. Byleth's bow and arrow, Felnot, is deadly when fully charged, and if you shield it, it can also deal a ton of shield damage. But it can easily be avoided because it only shoots at two different points of the animation, the blue arrow in the middle or the yellow arrow at the end. Byleth can't shoot it whenever, only at those two times, if you pay attention to the timing, you can easily jump over either arrow. But keep in mind that Byleth can shield cancel at the beginning of this move as a way to bait you into coming closer. Don't be too hasty to attack this move unless you're sure he's committed to shooting, or make sure to stay back in case he shields on you. Another move that deserves your respect is Byleth's down special, Aimir. It's his typical noob killer. It's very similar to Ganondorf's Warlock Punch, but this move is actually better because it has a much wider hitbox and a shockwave effect. It will bust your shield for sure, so don't do it. And whatever you do, don't roll behind Byleth, because he can turn around and pound you. Don't attack during the windup, because this move has super armor, and you'll likely get punished. Your best bet is to back away and punish it after the move is over, or you can grab or throw a projectile. And for all you casual players out there, here's a bit on Byleth's final smash. Progenitor God Ruptured Heaven. Man, where do they come up with these names? His initial attack is directly in front of him with a long reach. You can avoid it by staying above him, behind, or far away. If you're new here, then I'd recommend checking out my growing playlist of how to be every character in Smash Ultimate. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. Now, on to Byleth's weaknesses. Even Sakurai mentioned this one, Slow Mobility. Even though Byleth's reach can often make up for his slow mobility, most of the time quick characters can overwhelm him. 
and he also misses a lot of important punishes, just because he can't get there fast enough. While his defensive playstyle can be effective, once you get used to his habits and gimmicks, an offensive rushdown playstyle will usually win against him. Not only is Byleth's mobility slow, but most of his moves come out slow too. This means one of his major weaknesses is being easy to combo. So once you get up close to him, start a combo and try to keep it going. His only reliable combo breaker is his neutral air, but it doesn't come out fast enough until mid percents. So that means you can anticipate him to air dodge out of combos a lot. Make sure to punish him before he backs up to neutral. Another weakness is his landing. He falls pretty slow and is pretty predictable. He doesn't have any moves that really move him out of the way. So you can easily attack his landing and make him suffer for having a poor landing game. Most of Byleth's moves have a long end lag. And that means they're very easy to punish if he hits your shield or whiffs. With this in mind, your main focus on fighting Byleth is to fight fire with fire. Meaning, he mostly wants to play the bait and punish game, and you should too. Get him to miss, and then get in there and make him suffer for being so dang slow. Playing Byleth online, I notice he also struggles a lot with projectiles. It totally throws off his playstyle. He wants you to approach him, and when you start throwing projectiles, he's forced to approach you. And that's where he's weakest. He may try to camp with his bow and arrow, but it's so slow and can't keep up with most other projectiles. Another weakness is Byleth's grab game. While his throw combos are decent, his grab range is poor, especially his dash grab. Also, none of his throws kill early, so that's a big thing that holds him back. Now, on to Byleth's recovery. So far, I'm pretty impressed overall with his recovery. It's a lot like Joker's. His up special can grab the ledge super low, and he can use it up to three times off the ledge. If he's too low, he can tether grab the bottom of the stage and wall jump up. To change up his fall speed, he can throw out his side special. To exploit his recovery, I found it best to hit him away from the ledge before he gets below it. His recovery is mostly vertical and not horizontal, so try to push him back. Another good tactic is to wait for him to tether grab the ledge and throw out a long lasting air attack to hit him as he pulls up. If he's lost his jump, that'll usually kill him, like so. If he's down deep, then be careful going after him, or this could happen. And with this knowledge, have fun beating Byleth. So what do you think of Byleth? Let me know in the comments below. Also thanks for the many requests of which characters to make a video of next. Keep them coming. You guys are awesome and I'll see ya.